Hello and welcome back to Classic Mini Restoration with me, Mini Tom. So this episode is going to be um, the, the, the repair, the sanding, the filling and the priming of my dashboard which was damaged when I got it. Um, I'm no expert on these things, it's the first time I've done it. There's no rule book that I've found that shows you how to do it so we're just going to have a go. We're going to try a few different adhesives, two of which don't work, the other one does. Um, and yeah, if you learn something brilliant, if you don't, I hope you had fun watching it anyway. Cheers. So, this was how my dashboard arrived. It was all sort of um, taped up, parcel tape, so thanks for the guy that did that. It's kind of ruined it. There's there's patches here and there and everywhere. Um, it's quite a nice back dashboard. Obviously, the cluster goes there. That's to come off yet and get um, get sanded and get the same treatment. But and it, it's basically, it's only plywood. And you could probably make that again and save all this trouble but there's a recess there which is important and I can't replicate that because I don't have a router so rather than spending money getting a router to remake it I'd rather just try and repair this so I can sand it that's supposed to be there that little notch um, what I ideally want I don't know if that works um, but what I ideally want is that I want a, an oil pressure gauge and the coolant temperature gauge here I know that it's got them on the actual cluster anyway it's got the lights but I'd rather have a gauge to tell me what's doing what so that'll probably stay if it works and I'll get some to match it just there. Um, but yeah, for damage you can see there the laminate's lifting off. Um, it's cracked there. And that corner's all right. There's a little bit of a crack just there. I don't know if you, you can see that. You can't. Um, as far as I know, that's all okay. The hinges are all there. The latch isn't for the top, but I can get a new one and that's not an issue. But the hinges all look okay. I'll just take this tape and have a look what's underneath it. Um, and then moving on to this side, you can just see, again, the laminate's lifting off. Um, so my plans are, put some wood glue underneath these, or whatever I think's gonna gonna work with it. I think some wood glue will probably hold it down. If not, some no more nails. Maybe even some super glue. I don't know how these are put on, but I'm assuming wood. Wood glue would be fine. Um, same for this up here, get some wood glue on that and then in regards to the chip here I'm going to get a small bit of body filler in there, obviously I'm going to break all the loose bits off uh, and a small bit of body filler and just to smooth it over and then we'll give it all a bit of a sand over um, and then it can be ready to take some primer. Oh. So yeah, I'm just using a bit of wood glue there. Um, it kind of, you can see how much the, the resin's dried out between the, the laminate and the actual MDF. Every time I moved that bit of uh, bit of laminate up to get my finger underneath it to sort of spread the glue out, it just lifted more off it. So it just wasn't working too well at all. Um, yeah, probably should have got a new dashboard, but again, we'll try and repair it best we can. Now I'm just wiping off all that excess wood glue with a, with a damp bit of paper towel. Um, probably should have left it a bit longer before I did that because everything just started moving around on me. Uh, and now I'm just breaking off all the loose chips, um, the bits that have sort of raised up. Um, just trying to give me a bit more of a fighting chance in that corner. And then what I'll do is I'll take some 80 grit to that and just get that flattered back, get it feathered in a little bit more. Just so it's you know a bit easier to work with. The filler's going to be a bit easier to get in there. Don't think wood glue is going to work. Hmm. Damn you! Looks like it's a job for that. Just a bit messy. Alright, I'll have a rethink. So I'm going to give it a go with no more nails. We'll, uh, we'll see if it does anything at all. The only thing is it comes out really quick. You can reduce it a bit a bit but I don't really do the right lot. 
Yeah, I didn't want to use this in the first place. It's really messy. Um, I don't particularly like no more nails anyway. I don't think it's, you know, worth what's written on it. But I thought for the sake of it, I've got it. We'll have a go. Um, yeah, it's not the best stuff. Really annoyed at myself as well now. Um, that bit breaking off like it did, it just made the whole thing so much more difficult to do. It just didn't want to sit back in place once it had snapped. You know, there were bits like it would bend and uh, it was a bit of a struggle to be fair, that thing. I did contemplate just leaving that bit out and trying to glue the rest of it, but I thought for the sake of trying it, might as well just try it. Uh, you'll soon see that didn't work either. Right, okay, that didn't work either. So, no more nails, you was rubbish. Wood glue was also rubbish, it didn't work. I'm going to try small purpose bostic. It looks like, if you look underneath it, it obviously had some sort of glue or resin on before, so I'm, I don't know what it was, but uh, if any joiners out there, anyone who does all furniture and stuff can tell me, let me know because it's bugging the hell out of me. But for now, I'm just going to try and apply a bit of this, see what it does. It says put it on generously if it's an absorbent surface, which of course wood is. And hold for 10 minutes. Catch you in a minute. So while that glue stuff goes off, uh, I've got them weighted down, I'm just going to put a bit of filler just onto this bit here. So as I mentioned, um, I looked online at a few things, no rule book as such, but I did check on the body filler and that should be okay on wood from what I was reading. Um, obviously wood is porous, so if I do get some sinkage I can just dig it back out and put some wood filler in there. It's not an issue to me really. Right, so where am I up to? This stuff kind of did and didn't work. This bit um, along here, as you can see, I got annoyed. It just didn't work. It wasn't having it. Pulled it off. I've put some filler in there. This bit at the bottom, there, it did work on. So I've no idea what's going on there uh, so yeah I've filled along there to be honest with you as long as these bits are okay it doesn't matter too much because you don't really see this top edge you really don't see it it's covered by the actual binnacle um, and as well if you haven't noticed already I have sanded the whole thing in 80 grit Apart from the dashboard, uh, the glove box cover, I need to take that out and sand that one separately. Um, but for right now, that one that I filled previously has gone hard. So, back on with the sanding. As you can see there, I'm just roughing out the shape of my uh, 80 grit paper and a sanding block. Just getting over the sort of high, low, high, sorry, the really high bits off. Uh, doing the same on the top bit there as well. And as I progress through the sanding stages, I will go on to a 120 grit, a 180, 240, and I finish it all off with a 320, yeah, a 320 grit sandpaper. Um, that should be a good key for some primer. Uh, it is a special primer for use on wood, and you can get it from pretty much anywhere, to be fair, B&Q sell it. I just can't remember the name of it. Um, and yeah, it, it kind of took all right, did the primer, but you'll see that anyway in a bit. Uh, hindsight as well, what I kind of wish I would have done and what I'd probably recommend if anyone's going to try this they try it first rather than the wood glue and no more nails and the Bostic is maybe try and get some two part epoxy resin on there um, it, to me looking back it just seems like that would have been a smarter thing to use it's probably what the, the factory used when they, they built the whole thing to be fair so if anyone out there does try and use it after this video can you let us know if it works because it's kind of bugging me a little bit
Right, so that's all sanded up to 320. Um, the shiny bits is just a bit of, got a bit of water stuck on it, so yeah, came through a little bit in places there, but not too bad. And the end there. So that's all that 320. Got a crack there, but you can't feel it to be fair. Um, probably should cover that up. So that's all sanded. And the back as well. So that's with some primer. Catch you in a bit. Okay, so we're all primed up now. Uh, I've also flattened it back with uh, 400 grit. I have gone through in a few places, like just there and just there. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yep, gone through there as well. Yeah, pretty happy. So the next time you see this dashboard now um, will be when it gets painted in the gunmetal grey that I've got. And like I say, you know, right through all of this, if it doesn't work, you know, I can just wrap it in some vinyl wrap. It's not an issue for me. Uh, be nice to do it in paint, but we'll see how it goes. Never done it before. There's no rule book to it, so we're just trying to do what we can. Uh, anyway, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll uh, I'll see you at the next one. See you later.